I've always seen design as a thought, a dream, or a concept that has continually evolved. Not a static single point in time representation of a model consisting of loss, fillets, and extrusions or drawings. Design is a process, it's not an end. It's a continual evolution of thought that must be captured and effectively communicated. In essence, design is only as useful as the designer's ability to capture and communicate a concept. Now I'm hitting the road to see how our customers are utilizing Autodesk technology to turn concept into reality. R&D Automation and Engineering is Florida's premier custom machine builder. R&D engineers, designs, and manufactures custom automation and material handling machinery for industries ranging from hydraulic valves to contact lenses. And with 20 years in the industry, they've developed a reputation of industry-leading innovation and exceptional customer service. Hey everybody, Rob Cohey, Manufacturing Evangelist for Autodesk, and I'm here in Why Don't I Live Here, Sarasota, Florida, with Inventor 2010 of the Year R&D Automation. Now, I came down to Sarasota to talk with legendary man in the CAD industry, Sean Dodson. Sean's the president of R&D. Sean, thanks for inviting me down here, man. How you doing, Rob? I'm all right. So, hey, tell us a little bit about R&D Automation and you know, how you guys started, and just give us a little background of, of, of your company and, and where you're trying to go with it. Okay. Well, R&D Automation is the uh, largest uh, manufacturer of custom automation equipment and robot work cells in the state of Florida. We're, we're technical people. We, we don't have a large sales force and a large engineering force and a, and a large administrative force. Like you said, we're kind of jack of all trades. We do a little bit of everything. So we're able to get in and get out and you know, make the customers happy and compete that way. All right, so I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up your, your illustrious uh, stature, if you will, in the, in the CAD community. So you've been with uh, Autodesk Inventor since uh, basically release one and started the MCAD forums. What was the purpose behind doing that uh, back in the early days? Well, um, you know, back, back in the early days we were, I think we were one of the first customers uh, in Florida for uh, using Inventor. Um, what I noticed was there was just a, a, a lot of questions out there. People were trying to get to know the software. Uh, so uh, I, I would be on the forums trying to learn a little bit myself and I noticed the same questions kind of coming up over and over again. So honestly, I tell people it was kind of out of laziness rather than answering the same questions over and over again. I got a little Earthlink account, five megabyte account or whatever, and started throwing answers, an FAQ, I guess, if you will, up on there. Um, you know, it, it crashed the account like on the first week because of too much traffic. So, turned that into just a little bit, you know, a larger uh, scheme, and S dots and an in-cab forums. And uh, it just kind of became this place for the user base to kind of share information among each other. Uh, I think that's really important is, is, is users helping users. Uh, so it just kind of grew from there, and now it's this self-perpetuating monster that just keeps growing and growing and growing. So, so and, and as a result, I mean, you know, your reputation is is is, uh, is, is pretty much uh, continued out throughout the, throughout the years as, as as kind of a go-to guy for uh, for the MCAD community. And as a result, this year you were voted um, through our manufacturing community the Autodesk Inventor of the Year for 2010. What's that mean for R&D Automation? Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a big honor. Uh, and, you know, I have, to, I have to put a lot of the credit on, on, on my guys that you're gonna meet later on today. Um, it, it means a lot for R&D. You know, getting our name out there and, 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 connecting, and connecting my name with the company name, um, I think it's gonna do nothing but great things. And, you know, we see a great future for R&D. So, Sean, we've got a, a great example of what it is you guys do. Tell us a little bit about this equipment and, and how how you go through the process of identifying an opportunity and then manifesting itself into a piece of automation equipment. Okay, it's, you know, this, this is something that's a little bit different for us. This is a line integration project. So we do two main different kinds of projects. We do complete machine design, and then we also do line integration. What this is doing is this is taking a, a small bottle that has a dental implant in it, and we're, we're forming a box putting the dental implant tube into it and then uh, putting the uh, uh, carton around its sleeve and you end up with, with a product that looks something like this. Okay. So, you know, in the automation business, you know, we hear a lot about that even in the, in the, in the CAD business. You know, hey, you're, you're putting people, you know, out of work by, by automating some things, but that's not, that's not the case at all, is it? No, we don't think so. Um, it, what we like to think is we're, we're elevating people to a higher skill level. Uh, so we're taking somebody who is mainly taking these and, and putting them into boxes individually and wrapping it up and putting it into the stacks. We're allowing them to, one, free up to do some other tasks that the manufacturer may need to do uh, without having to hire an additional person. Uh, but we're also elevating their skill level. They're learning how to run equipment like this. Stay tuned next. Sean lets me run a few cycles on this bad boy. And we meet up with one of R&D's engineers to see how these projects go from concept to reality.